this is the piece or the sample that we did in preparation for this piece. So what I wanted for the misty stuff was so graphite, then watercolor, then gesso, and then ink and watercolor on top was the result that we decided on. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, that probably was the wrong chat, but congratulations on your job. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we have um, like the forest and stuff, right? And I want to make it float. I don't know why. I just feel like it has to. And I'm going to do a little house, just like a basic house. But I'm going to make it more detailed. So the whole thing that I want to do with this is I want to hide things in it. So in the tree, I want to hide other things. Um, and there's going to be trees in front of it. I'm going to do basically like a floating island of stuff. Yeah. And it goes like this. And for the house itself, I might need a reference just because houses are hard for me to visualize without, oh, if it's like not super basic, um, it's hard for me to visualize. So I just need something to look at. Okay, so we need the house references. I think I saved some before when I was um, getting things ready for this piece. I also want to add a bunch of mushrooms in it because mushrooms are fun. Um, okay, where are the little, little houses that I saved? Like something like rounded would be cool. Let me try that. Okay. So for that, we would need to do like a big tree. And we could even have the roots like peeking through down here. It'd be kind of fun. Okay, so we have this tree, and in it, I'm going to put, I'm going to make the base bigger, and I'm going to put a little house. I want to also do, like, a little door. Uh, two hours before, I'll be here all night doing montage and watching screen. Oh, nice! I'm going to make this, this one is kind of reminiscent of 
Bernstein Bears house. <laughs> Their little tree house uh, cottage thing that they have. That could be good. Um, basically, I just want to do a picture where things are hidden. There's like hidden things in it that you have to look for. And then it's also like little houses within the tree. And these bushes, I would, I want to hide, I want to do a bunch of little mushrooms. And I also want to do mushrooms that are like the size of the tree. Potentially. I don't know yet. So if we have this big mushroom back here, and we have some that are in front over here. Just watching nice art streams. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. It's always nice to have you. Um, okay, so that's gonna be like that. And then here, I wanna do like a bunch of windows too. And there's a little house here that's attached. And then I could also do like as for hidden things. Um, I could do a little snail over here. And I also want to focus on shapes that aren't necessarily something specific, but can be drawn from that. Like one of these, this mushroom, for example, is going to stay in graphite and it's going to blend into the background and be misty. And like, it's like, is it there? Is it not there? Same with some of the tree branches. So like this one. And I'll do another tree, like over here, it's gonna stay shadowy, potentially. Something like that. And then in the front here, we're gonna have a different shape of bushes. I'm also going to do a list of elements that I want to include. Okay, so we want um, houses, doors, mushrooms, snails. bushes too. And then I'm just gonna do this to indicate the, the floatingness of it. What else do I want in this? Could do also something. Hmm. Kind of want to include like a a fish of some kind. I was thinking of doing like a fish, like a blimp that's a fish or something, or like one of those balloons. Like those airship things or even like a you know something like that could be cool just a lot of random stuff basically is the goal so for the base I'm gonna do a little thumbnail of like some different ideas of instead of the island I can do something else
think I want the tree to be smaller within the thingy bob. So if I have the tree here, Something like that could be cool. Okay, something like that. Um, I can put fish here. Fish balloon. 
I need some other element ideas, I think. The other thing is this could be like, like more like a boat. I can't really make it look like a boat from this distance, but something like that. Okay, let's try a bigger version with more stuff. Okay, and then in this version, we would have the tree based up to here. I'm going to make the branches pretty long, I think, so that I can have more space to, to do things with the, the tree area. And then I'm going to get these roots going. And then the branches. And I'm going to do one of the houses right here, I think. looks very octopus like but that's okay we'll fix it after all right and then down here i'm gonna put another one of the houses on the side or at the bottom even like a little little tiny one Mm, I don't like that, actually. Let's try a door in the tree. And it's going to lead to some stairs. And from this branch, I'm going to hang like a wing, but it's a house. And I'm going to do this where it's going to I 
attach here and then hang upside down flowers like a garden but in the sky so it's upside down I don't know I'm just kind of sketching and seeing what comes up we shall see I don't know if I'm keeping it or not but I think it's kind of cute And a little welcome mat hanging too. And then on this side, um, I'm going to include. that behind the platform and then up here which it should be lower I'm gonna do like the pirate ship with the fish balloon thing Uh, Billy and Babel, hello! Thank you for the read! Welcome in! How was your stream today? We are currently just doing a little bit of a, um, an ideas, like, brainstorming page. Um, we're gonna be doing, like, some magical hidden houses in, like, a misty kind of forest setting? And we're including some strange elements, like upside down flowers. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. How was your stream? Footplate, hello! And Elpie and William, of course, hello, hello! What were you doing on your stream today? Thank you, thank you so much. Elfie, thank you for the follow. But yeah, we're just doing a little bit of a brainstorm page. We have some different different ideas going here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this. I don't think I like this with the roots. I think I'm going to change that. Yeah, no worries. All good. But yeah, we typically do um, watercolor art here, and we do some different um, like ink work and stuff like that. We just finished a cat portrait this morning, um, so we're doing something that's pretty new. I'm going to be using um, a method that I haven't used yet, and I've only done it in like a test paper to see how it works. So the we're going for like an ultimate misty look, so we're going to do graphite first. And then we're going to do some watercolor and then put gesso on top to make it like all misty and in the background and then do ink work on top of that. Um, so that is the goal. Um, doodling monsters on an iPad and sort of alien themed monsters. Ooh, that sounds really cool. I like that. Um, do you have anything you'd like to share? Do you have an Instagram or a website or anything? Please feel free to link it so that we can admire it. Sky islands are so cool. Heard you had a flying whale. Yes, we're going to be doing um, this like fish balloon thing. I think I'm gonna, we're going to do, yeah, like a fish balloon with like a pirate ship on it. 
kind of want to try to fit that in somewhere. Make that a little bigger. Um, Hoshi Bear, hello. Yeah, we're gonna. We're, this is a very mixed media thing, which I don't typically do, so this will be pretty fun. Of course, thank you for being here, Elfie. Haven't uploaded them yet. No worries. Yeah, thank you for the follow, William. It's gonna be so cute. I hope so. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, so then if we're doing a little pirate ship, I think. Maybe like over here. Might need a pirate ship reference. Let me just guess from from the brain and see what I can come up with. But we might need a reference afterwards. All right, so we have this, and then we're gonna have like a little bloopity bloop mermaid thing, and then let's see. The sails are. <laughs> I guess they're like the square sails more than they'd be like the. I was gonna do the triangle sails, but. Bigger ship would be like this, right? Sure. Something like that. And then it's going to be carried by a fish balloon. And it's going to be going this way. Ooh. I think I want to do like this one. Just a messy sketch to kind of see how things work. I do like the whale idea to make it more like whale-like. Cute. Bloop. And then it's a little balloon. Um, Footplate figures recommended you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Something like that. And then I'm going to cover... So this is going to be covered by the branches. So I want to just like hide things within this drawing because it's going to be super ink detailed too. And I want to make sure some of like these misty, mysterious things in the background kind of have like a misty look. So they're going to stay in graphite and then the rest of it's going to be um, inked so it's going to look different. Alright, so then what else do I want to incorporate? I wanted the mushrooms and such, so let's see if we can fit those in. The thing is, too, I don't want it to get too busy, so I'm trying to figure out a way to make, to incorporate things where it's not too busy. Like, I want it to be busy, but not too busy. Um, let's put one of the mushrooms back here. And I'm going to put this up to here. Kind of like a bush, but kind of like a moss. Yeah, that'll work. And float this down a little bit. Something like that could be cool. I'm wondering about the placement of the pirate ship balloon thing. I think I'm going to put it somewhere else. Request for a chat. Okay, let's see. Um, let me move this out of the way. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Green chair. I love this. I love the pattern of it. It's super cool. <laughs> I can see this on like a t-shirt or a tote bag. It's so cool. <laughs> a little fire guy or soot sprite of some kind. I love it. This is so good. Um, hold on. Let me do this. I can. There we go. 
Ooh, your work is super cool. Do a bit of a screen share. There you go. Very cool. This seems very tricky to draw. I'm I struggle with perspective. Wow, this is so cool. Burnt potato monster. <laughs> And Java eating Grogu. Oh no, that's horrible. Yeah, so much perspective. My goodness, this looks so hard. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I like the ink in this. Is this a business a businessman mermaid? Monsters. <laughs> It's horrible. It is. It does make sense, though. I can see it. <laughs> that little face. Oh, no. The cursed images are here. Um, Thank you so, so much for sharing. And thank you again for the raid. I very much appreciate it. He was late for Mermaid. Ah, I see. Very late. Late for an important business date of Mermaid. Okay, so we're moving. We're moving the ship. Oh, I just realized I don't have um my captions up either. Let me do that real quick. There we go. That's better. Yeah, no worries, of course. Thank you so much for the raid. But yeah, we're just doing some sketches, trying to figure out um, where things go. Mushroom. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this was um my test. It was my testing for like how the gesso would work with things. So it's kind of like all the mediums. <laughs> it's like, it's layered with different parts. All right. So I think maybe what I'll do, put it over here and I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. So if that's going out of that spot, what I'm going to do is take this, put the giant mushroom Over here. Eventually? Do I like that? Hmm. I don't know yet. Maybe the space needs to stay more blank. Get rid of the mushroom temporarily. Um, as washes on maps, yeah, for sure. Ink over with fine line. I feel like um, I feel like doing ink first and then using watercolor is like almost like using it as a coloring book, which is watercolor, is easier because then you're not kind of playing a guessing game of where you want the lines. Um, just make sure you have an ink that you've tested with your um watercolor beforehand. Because not all of them are waterproof. I'm going to get rid of this guy. And put in... It's a little bit of a mushroom looking house, but kind of cute also. Something like that. Print on lightweight watercolor paper to experiment. 
Yes, you could also do that. Um, traditional drawing building waiting for his time to shine. We love traditional art. Digital art is also really cool. I usually use digital for when I'm making stickers and such, but um, the rest of the time it's all traditional. And then this is a fish. Maybe it has to be down here. Hmm. I'm still not decided on it sketch and watercolor and it was just a series of happy accidents and lots of unhappy ones too yeah watercolor can be finicky it has a life of its own so you just kind of have to like you kind of have to find that balance of giving it letting it have control and deciding where it can have control you know it's a strange combo ink is water soluble um yeah i guess that would be kind of rough. You could do it for just like color samples though. I've used watercolor on printed things, just like not to the same extent that I would use it on on like normal liners. Thank you. Yeah, I really like doing the frogs. The B with the letters, the B with the letters. The B with the letters, wait, which one? <laughs> Oh, wait. On your Instagram, checking mail. Oh, okay, okay, that one. <laughs> For a second, I thought you had gone, like, way, 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 way back. Because there was um, a series I was doing where I had each letter of the alphabet with an animal. So I had, like, a B with the letter B. But that was, like, one of the first things posted on there. I'm like, did you scroll that far back? <laughs> okay. Yes, that one.
So maybe if I do this one, does this house need to go? Or this house? Probably this one. Get rid of this one for now. Yeah, no worries. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm just texting uh, fiance, my fiance back because he's at work and apparently they had um, these like extra pencil cases and pencil rolls from a brand. So he was asking me if I wanted one. So I was choosing a color. eraser <laughs> so I'm liking this I want to bring some some height over here I'm wondering if I should make this house taller but then it would compete with the tree so it's a little tricky let's do a bush behind this one and it's gonna go all the way behind this and I'm gonna make it go over top of this one. And then I wanna do I could go here. Um, no worries. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you for guiding the raid here. Maybe what I'll do. It's a little fish here. No, I don't like that either. Cause it's too right across. We need something that's over here, I guess? Over here could be good. No, this is just um like a desk mat. It's like a mouse pad, but that covers the whole desk. Um, I got it off of an Etsy shop. I can't quite remember which one, though. I posted a link in my Discord re uh, before when someone asked, but I would have to go look at it. Thank you. All right, so if we're doing this on this side, what if I did hmm, maybe that's what I need double tree. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if we do this. A tree that's not on the, the sky island but reaches up to the sky. And then That could work. It disconnects it from being a big clump to kind of a directing your eye kind of thing instead of just like blip. <laughs> it kind of helps. If I can get that to look tree-like. So let's do that. Um, so I'm going to bring it right to the bottom. And we'll do this. make it look tree-like. 
drawing trees without a reference looks very spidery a lot of the time. Like, I'll fix it after, but for now it looks very spidery. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do something like this, where it's kind of... Bring this house into here. And get rid of this guy. Something like that could be good. And then we could even do the fish balloon over here. Then we have one, two, and three, and they kind of match up a little better. You know? It could kind of work going to be a lot of detail work though because it's all pen so we'll see we'll see how this goes um okay so this one goes up to here and then that and then we'd have like the the rest of the tree branches And we'll do one behind here. Might as well. Let's pretend this doesn't look like a scary hand and looks like a tree. And then we have the uh, the balloon itself, which would be here. And then we'd have the little, I think the ship is too much. I think we'll just keep it to being like a little basket. Um, sitting in a parking lot. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Jump on to say that Messi's planning to stream starting around 7, 7.30. Oh, nice. Yeah, for sure. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks, crew. Enjoy the parking lot. Are you enjoying our weird Tuesday stream? I'm wondering if I should make the fish balloon smaller. Again, this is just like, this isn't the final sketch or anything. I'm just kind of trying to figure out the layout of everything. So instead of that, what we can do, since you don't stream on Tuesdays, resorted to sitting in parking lots. It's your Tuesday activity. Yeah, don't, don't um, change your schedule on account of me. It's all good. <laughs> Enjoy your parking lot crew. I'm going to zoom in too. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cute. We have a free pencil roll from Fiance's work. And it I didn't realize that it came with stuff, but it comes with little colored pens. I just wanted it for taking my paintbrushes uh, with me when I go places, because right now I just bring um, my full pencil case for stuff like that. So, parking lot cruise day. <laughs> like, huh, what does everybody do when I'm not streaming? <laughs> well, crew sits in a parking lot. So 
we could continue the line and do this as the fish over here. I want to include the fish. I'm just trying to fit him in. He's a little tricky. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Yeah. That kind of works, actually. If he's small and in the distance. Distance fish. So, I want to do this a long ways because we have this going on. And I want to cut off the tree. I want to do, like... Like, this tree isn't... I don't want to cut it off this soon, but I want to do it like this. And then we can see the inside of the tree like it's broken off. Don't ask me why. I don't actually know. <laughs> There's no deep reasoning. It's just... I feel like it would match... Hmm, it's matching the lines and it matches the energy and everything is directed like this way, you know? And this kind of helps because it angles it this way so then it continues the... I'm a fake artist. I don't do <laughs> I'm not actually, like, I don't know about art stuff. I just do things until it looks right in my brain. Be back in a bit. Okay. Enjoy parking lot for this day. Take that. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean I'm not an, an artist. I mean, I'm not, I'm not somebody who... I don't, I didn't go to art school, so I'm not like an artist that does things because they know what they're doing. I feel like I'm, <laughs> like I'm not actually an artist, I'm just guessing as I go, and then it turns out sometimes. <laughs> also, hi Negan, how's your Tuesday? Yeah, direct the eye, guide the viewer, exactly, yeah, you get it. That's what I'm trying to bloop, 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 bloop. Everybody look at the fish. <laughs> positive self-talk okay i am a real artist and i think i'm just struggling with imposter syndrome you don't have to go to art school to do art and perhaps maybe artists who are like like high tier pros maybe they also just guess as they go and like maybe that's just how you're supposed to feel in like every every career anyways is that better Megan? <laughs> Okay, I think what I'm going to do, hmm. what do I want to use? I guess watercolor paper. Let me get some of it. Also, do you see these giant peonies? Can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty these are? <gasps> like what? They're huge. They're so nice. Somewhat better. <laughs> Acceptable. Do I want what size is this? Nine by twelve. It's the last piece of watercolor paper in this thing. I have a giant thing of watercolor paper, it's just I have to cut it all down to size, so that's kind of annoying. I think we're just gonna go directly on it and do some graphite stuff. Let's do it. I'm gonna try to go super, super light and do my best. Here's our inspiration going up here for me, for me to stare at. I'm gonna find the center of the paper and I think we'll just use this size. Zoom out a little easy bit. And we're good to go. Megan, your um your cat portrait is currently flattening. I sprayed the back of it and it's flattening underneath the scanner right now. So it's not curling in the frame. Alright, ruler time. Ah, a hair. That one's my hair. That's not even Lily's hair.
what do you spray it with? Just water. Um, so I found this thing that I've been doing now where I spray the back of a watercolor painting with just like my spray bottle of water and then it curls up like crazy but it's usually in the opposite direction and then since it softens up the paper I put it under something to flatten it for a little bit and it flattens completely because it's like re-soften the paper to like form in the shape that you put it in. So I found that's been working a lot better than leaving it somewhere for a few days because it flattens much faster this way. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, so we have our center point. And I think to start, what I'm going to do... Well, let's keep it right. <laughs> it's not genius because I, I think I read it somewhere. But I do appreciate that. That's very nice of you. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do our placement position things. A wild Margo appears. Hello. Welcome in, Jimmy. How are you? I'm going to do this here. Then we're going to do the island. Um, okay, so wait, I want the broken tree to be here. And the house is going to be here. And the island is going to be here. I'm trying to stay super light because I'm just, I'm keeping the graphite in the sun. It's not like I'm erasing it after. Smart people are the ones that incorporate found information to improve. Nobody succeeds in a vacuum. I can see that. Uh, had a great day with the neighbors. Now I'm back home making some chicken nuggets. Heck yeah, that sounds like a great day. Let's make this close more. Like, um... Here? That feels too small. Mm, maybe not though. Okay, wait, because I want the tree. The tree is going to end off paper? Or do I want the tree to end mid? I think I want it here. So then that means that that's going to be down here. So I'm going to put this. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Whoa, the brightness is like, it's crazy because I'm drawing so lightly. I'll just turn that one off for now to help you guys. All right, so that's the tree. I'm gonna have to use all my points on positive self talk. No, it's okay. An artist who talks to themselves, the rumors are true. And so. Can you imagine? Then I want this to go bloopity bloop, bloopity bloop, bloop bloop. That's here. Okay. And then we're like bloopity bloopity. This is the ground, bloopity bloop. Nine hundred and eighty one positive self talk start up. Oh my goodness. No, we do not we do not need those. It's okay. I'll be nice. <laughs> and I do want that to be somewhat straight. Oh, also, we fixed the car, so that's exciting. Do we make this smaller? Let's do a temporary sketch of everything and kind of see where we're going. That's actually right here. Do 
Can I make it smaller? Uh, Manta, hello! Yes, welcome, welcome. We're doing, um, this sketch, basically. That's what we're doing. It's like these little, 